Hey there, and welcome to today's video. For today's video, we are going to be building the Resident Services Building from Animal Crossing. Here is the Resident Services Building. Now, as you can tell, here on Sims, we have grids. It's going to be very difficult, first of all, to recreate the flooring that is on the outside of the Resident Services Building, so the plaza. And the fact that this shows a very big door, it shows very small windows, yet on the inside, it looks like this. Which clearly, you can see that it's a lot bigger than what is based on the outside. The issue here is, outside is one thing, inside is another thing, and Sims does not like this mix. So what we're going to do today is we're going to build something that is very much in inspired by the Animal Crossing Resident Services building, but I don't think we're going to quite get to what it is exactly. So for example, this is already bigger than what was in the picture, but this is more of what it's going to need on the inside, I believe. Another issue I see with this picture right away is the roof is never going to be exactly what it's looking for, because it's either too low or too high. There's no middle point. The columns, uh, they ask for like some really round, thick columns, but this is about as thick as we're going to get them. In Animal Crossing, it seems like it's a bit away from the wall, but you can't really move it at a point where it's going to let you do that. So, columns are one of those things that they'll always snap. So we'll try it there and see where it takes us. Now here comes the issue of the windows. We can have a window that perfectly matches, but it doesn't have the same style. We can have one that has a style, but it's double, so it would fill up a bit more of the width. We can have one that is more like what we need, but it's too tall if it's by itself. Or we could have one that it's just all together way too big. Now what I don't like about this one, this one, or this one, is that it's not all white, and there's no way to get the interior white either. So I think we might be moving on to a bit of a plan B and see how that works out. Alright, I think that one looks a bit more like what we wanted. So if you're wondering how I got a floor trim as a roof trim technically, what I did was I made this into a room, and by making that into a room, just by putting one of the flat squares up there. By making that, it thinks that there's a second floor, even if you don't want a second floor. So it allows for this to be there, which I think with that, we're going to be able to get away. Yeah, I think that's looking a bit more like the picture now. So I think we can now use these windows, which, yes, they don't exactly match, but I think they match better than what we're going to get with any other windows. Here's the bit of the issue. This is a 3 wide, and then this is only a 1. It looks a bit weird with a 1. I want to make it a 3, but I also don't want it to be way too big. So let's take a look first at which clocks we can put there. Maybe this one is going to be a better match. I think we can go up to three without it being too much of an issue. Alright, I think that's about as good as we're going to be able to get it with the clock tower. It's quite a bit bigger than I thought, but I think we can always use that as a bit of an extra area that we can use. We'll see. Now, I mentioned earlier that I doubt we're going to be able to get any round sections like they had. So I'm thinking, how about we make them square? And try to do it in a way kind of like this, maybe here. Just define the areas a bit more. I genuinely can't tell if that looks weird anymore. Now here's a point where we're going to start venturing into debug, so I'll probably skip ahead so you don't have to suffer through this. Alright, so I found the flag, which was the main thing that I was looking for here. I think we're going to size it down a bit. So in Animal Crossing, the flag is really your island flag, so you can make it whatever you want. Here it's just 
this flag. <laughs> it's still a bit smaller in Animal Crossing. It's something like that size. I might put it back to being a bit bigger though. I'm not too sure what I want on that one. Now I knew that the lights were going to be there, which was another thing that I was looking for. And there's also a bulletin board, which we don't really have one. Alright, now the placing is a bit different than it would be in Animal Crossing, but I don't mind that at all. I think I'm just going to get rid of these. And I think that's about the exterior figured out. Now there are sometimes events that sometimes go on in the plaza, but what you see more times than not is actually a bench out at the front. So I think I'm going to add one. I believe it's green, but we don't really have anything that is very green except this. Which, seeing the size difference now, I do think I made the bulletin board way too big. But I like the way that it is, because it's more proportionate to what you would see in Animal Crossing. Alright, now looking at the inside, there's actually a bit more than what you would expect going on. So let's start with the colors. And that exact wall color since seems actually to be about right as well. There's this crown molding as well, but I'm not seeing one that is this low with crown molding. Maybe something like that, but that's too ornate. I think we're good with that. So they don't show any windows at the back, and this would actually make it way too long in comparison. But I think we're going to get a bit of creative liberty here and extend it all the way to the back. Right around there. Yeah, I don't think I mind it that much anymore. So for the front, I was actually thinking of just using a counter. Since it is technically a service counter, but it's not quite anything like what we have on our counters. So the top is wooden, and so is the bottom. And I don't think in base game there's any that's wood on wood. So I think we'll probably use something like this one instead. Should technically be there, the middle way, but I, I think it's fine there. I think something like that will do. I think in Get to Work there's a storage unit that would fit in a lot better here for what they're looking for. But we don't have that, so we're just going to put this. And we don't actually have the printer either, so we're just going to make it double. There's actually a bit of a crafting area here around the corner, so I'm thinking of just putting a woodworking station. I'm really curious if that would work on its own, but I'm not going to test that out. So we can just put regular counters and then block it off here with the woodworking station. Now over here it's supposed to be an ATM, but we only have stolen ATMs. But we'll put that one there. It still works. So I think this one is also in Get to Work, where there's one that actually looks like the desks that you can expect to see here. As you can imagine, I don't have that pack. So we're just going to use one of these and make it work with that. Alright, now Tom Nook has a laptop. He also has a little table fan that I don't think we're going to be able to get. But we can get some books. I think he has some more in a pile like this. And then we can also get some pens and pencils, something like that. I think that about does his desk. Isabel's desk is quite a bit different. I'm kind of debating whether to use the binders with a bookend or just these books. I think we'll use the binders. Who we'll get her these? She has what I believe is an intercom, which we really don't have anything that looks like that. We might put like a radio or something, but she has a notebook instead of a computer. Now that I'm looking at these pictures, Isabel's desk is very close to the door. I hope the door opens in for her own sake. Now both of them have like information that is on the table. But there's something really we can use on The Sims without completely blocking that. So we're just going to leave it like that. I think that about does it on the inside. But now we can just finish it off with the little employee area that doesn't actually exist, but I made it exist. So this you can consider the point where I very much consider the game that this is and what goes on in the game. 
So since we are in The Sims, obviously this doesn't exist in Animal Crossing, but I'm going to make a little kitchenette. I'm going to make a little bit of an area where they can sit and lay down, and I'm also going to make a little bit of a bathroom. Now, why I say I know this is The Sims is whenever you're in a lot, considering I'm planning on making this a park at some point, which actually, let's make it into... I think a national park has less things than an actual park. Because I think in either one you're going to need, like, barbecues and stuff. Let's see. Yeah, we need a chess table. It, it counts the bench because it's an actual bench. I would need another one. But I need a patio table and playground stuff. And a national park. I think it's just a barbecue. Grill, trash can, and picnic table. So I'm not going to make it either one right now. I'll keep it as a residential. But I will eventually make this into a park. And knowing that, I know we're going to need as many bathrooms as possible. Just because a lot of the time... Sims just need to use the bathroom. I feel like this bathroom has a weird mix of new and old, but take a look at this. It's either not good enough, because it doesn't even come with the colors I want it to, too modern, too fancy in my opinion considering the bathroom, too modern, too fancy, too fancy, or the rest of them need an actual counter which is going to be too bulky. Like, literally, compare this. Look at the difference in size. That's just ridiculous. So I think we're going to stick with a fancy vanity even though it doesn't make a whole bunch of sense. Alright, so I think that about does it for the build. So this is what it looks like from the outside. Let me get this off of here. So again, not too much, but then again, on the actual puzzle there isn't much. It, it rotates depending on the event. I really wish we could do the rounded, but I think that at least defines it a bit. More than I would have expected for The Sims, at least. We have the clock on the outside. We have the flag. And then looking at the inside, we have the reception area, where you'll get whatever it is that you need there. The desks, the work areas. And then I actually think that the employee room is a lot bigger than it needed to be. But I wanted a bathroom, I didn't want a window, and I wanted it to look symmetrical from the outside. So it needed to be at least that big. I could have put the window a bit closer, but I needed the space that was here. It was already going to be tight enough as it is. But that does it for now. Here is Animal Crossing's Resident Services Building. But let me know what you think down below. Let me know what you'd like me to try out next, and I hope to see you in the next video. Have a great weekend!